Hey everybody, welcome to the Chris and Dan show. Dan's over there shooting me for some damn reason. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. That it is. It's been so long, Dan's got braces. That's right, guys. I got my grills. Paul got Wall grills. grills. That, might, can... that might change my next song selection, by the way. My grills? That might, yeah. That might have to be it. So you were saying well, this we, is we the got two third each. Time. We got two each. You said this is the third time you've had braces. My third go around, yeah. Is that common? Yep. You know the answer to that, Chris. No, I have no idea. I've never had braces. It's not a common at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I roll. You know, my teeth are that fucked up. Yeah, got to do it over and over, huh? Plus, I'm not compliant with the retainers. So, oh, okay. So once you have braces, you should wear retainers for the rest of your some, life. Some countries, adults with braces is a status symbol. Sure, sure. I'm big you, in those countries. You, you can afford to pay for your teeth. Well kept teeth. Yeah. I you know, I didn't really even think it through. I'm like, I was on a podcast earlier today and I caught myself laughing and I was like, God, that looks hideous. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it through. Like for the next two years, these things are on me. <laughs> I did not think it through. Like as a YouTuber, so I can change the bands. These are black bands. They're a little like prominent. I can make them gray or white next time. So that being said, if you had thought it through, would you not have gotten the braces? I would have still gotten them, but I would have gotten clear band instead of black. Okay. I was just like, they showed me a cup, a box full of colors. I was like, ah, give me black. It's like yeah. the most prominent. I like to wear black shirts, so give me a black uh, braces. Yeah. Besides hot pink or rainbow. Yeah. I mean, next time I might go rainbow. Do a little 6 yeah, yeah. 9 action for you guys. Rainbow has been ruined. So, uh, <laughs> Let's get off this topic. Let's get on to yeah. music. People so why everybody clicked on this? So Julie They're here for they're here for this Fleetwood Mac. So Julie, my wife, says Dan will not know this group. Have you ever heard of Fleetwood Mac, Dan? I have. Oh, you heard of them? Yes, but can I name one song of theirs? No. But if you sing a song, can I do I recognize it? Yes. One of the most popular for sure. This is probably, if not their most popular song in a top, easily top five. Okay. So, this one? you know, yeah. This Can you one. give us so, a little background on, I mean, I, you know, I know of them, but I don't know like the band necessarily. Sure. They were, they were super popular in the seventies, um, uh, early eighties. They were very popular. Stevie Nicks, uh, Fleetwood Mac broke up. Stevie Nicks. Uh, who sings this song? They're, both the females in this group sing. Uh, I would say Stevie Nicks is probably the more common singer. Um, okay. She went on and had a, a very good solo career in in the eighties. Um, yeah, I mean that's about all I can think of. You know, hey people down in the comment section, you can let us know more information and let me know if I'm wrong. Is this their biggest song, uh, most popular song? I think it is. Here we go. I'll let you know if I heard it. But Julie, you're wrong. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Now there you go. Yes. Yeah, you heard it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. This is popular by TikTok because this dude was skateboarding on it and made the, a song. So, you, this. so you've heard it through TikTok. That's where most people that are one generation or more below you know this song from. So, I actually have heard it prior to TikTok, but TikTok like renaissance did. Okay, and where you heard it prior was probably Grand Theft Auto or something? No, I don't think this was in Grand Theft Auto. Nope. I have to okay. hear a little bit more, but no, I don't think this one was on there. All right. It would be on the Vice City one, and it's not. I don't think it is. Okay. I played that game way too many times. Oh, can you say you want your freedom? Well, who am I to keep you down? It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. 
to the sound of the rolling in this like a heartbeat. See, this is great. This would be in the category of greatness. Oh, you like this song? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, who doesn't? Like, oh, you'd be hard pressed to find anybody. Yeah. Well, all I can see is she's doing a great job. I've never listened to this song live. She's doing a great job with it live. I, I still like it better in the studio version. Um, I've heard several other songs about this band. Oh, yeah. They're huge. I don't have yeah. any on my sure. phone, though, but I might get this one on there. Yes, you may. Still what you had and what you <laughs> Dude looks like Jesus <laughs> playing the bass. <laughs> and what you had. Do you know what this song is actually about, though? Um, love of some sort. I don't know. I don't know either. Somebody let us know. Having dreams about a loved one? Well, it's called Dreams, so you would think it's something aspirational, but I don't know. Here I go again, I see crystal vision, I keep my visions to myself. Ah, it's about a trip, a drug trip, sounds like. No, no, I'm, I just read the lyrics. No, it's it's about it's about your significant other wanting to leave you. Oh, because she said I keep my visions to myself. Well, that sounds like drugs, but it's not. Well, surely me who wants to wrap around your dreams and have you in dreams you'd like to sell. Dreams of loneliness, the heartbeat drives you mad. In the stillness of remembering what you had. And what you love, and what you love, what you love. you when you Sing for us? No, I can't. I could not. <laughs> not to that I like one. That I'll one. do it when they're not good songs. Oh, yeah, that one's just a masterpiece. You can't touch that one. Can't touch this, huh? Right. No, that's belongs in my car on my phone. So I would. I will let Julie know she was incorrect that you have. She heard was of 
Yeah, I've Leave heard the there. band and the song, so she was wrong on both counts. Even if we grade on a curve, she's wrong. Actually, she's very wrong. But there's been a number of groups similar to Fleetwood Mac status that you haven't heard of. I don't know. I think that's at this point, this is proving to be just a stereotype. You haven't proven <laughs> it, really. It's just a narrative. It's a false narrative. Like no, it's, it's We're accurate. hearing that a lot now. I don't know. I haven't seen it. All right. I'm playing Bad Company for you next. Have you heard of Bad Company? Uh, Gut says no. (laughs) (laughs) Gut says no, but we'll see when I hear it. I don't think Bad Company is as accomplished as Fleetwood Mac, but they're still a fairly large group. Well, like, subscribe, comment, share, guys, and we'll catch you all later. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.